Here is the question. Right, so if you've read and understood, kindly tell me what is your provisional diagnosis of the condition? Yeah, my provisional diagnosis is um, Can you speak up a little, please? Carcinoid syndrome. Okay, can you define the term carcinoid syndrome? So it is a um, complex of, sim of symptoms. Okay. Um, that, uh, so it's a collection of symptoms um, that are uh, uh, as a result of the, the, metast the metastasis of carcinoid tumor uh, to the liver and the effect of the uh, serotonin and the vasoactive um, metabolites of, of the protein on the body leading to uh, a, complex, a complex of, of symptoms including um, flushing, um, uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea. Uh, and, and, and How do you confirm your diagnosis? It can be confirmed uh, with either uh, 24-hour urine showing the 5-hydroxyindoleacetic uh, uh, acid, or you can do an octreo scan, which is basically radio label octreotide um, and, the, uh, and the PET scan. Uh, and what is the blood test that you do to confirm your diagnosis? We can do a blood test for um, for serotonin and chromogranin. Okay, chromogranin A. Yeah. Very good. Okay, can you tell me uh, what do you understand by the term neuroendocrine tumors? So it it would be uh, any tumor affecting a neuroendocrine cells uh, of origin um, and um, it will have microscopic and histological um, characteristics um, uh, of a certain microscopic kind. and okay do they have is there anything to do with any genetic structure or architecture or genetic any genes which are involved I think, yes, uh, and, and uh, it is, think, it is yes. with men, with men syndrome. Yes, men one. Yes. Men and uh, neurofibromatosis. Yes, very one. good. Tuberous sclerosis and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well. What else? Um, what are the most common symptoms of carcinoid tumor? or carcinoid syndrome. What is the difference between carcinoid syndrome and carcinoid tumor? The so car carcinoid tumor would be just the, the tumor, the, the growth. Um, what is tumor? Can you define the term tumor? It's uncontrolled cell division. Yes. And, uh, and what is syndrome? Uncontrolled mitosis. But non syndrome is basically an affection of symptoms. Um, and that, that would be only evident uh, if, the, if the tumor metastasizes to the liver. Not necessarily involving many simple systems. Uh, that the, uh, condition is also called uh, syndrome. Okay.
can you tell me uh, what is the management for neuroendocrine tumors or carcinoid syndrome? So we can either manage it um, symptomatic management that will involve. You mean to um, say conservative uh, or medical? And yeah, medical. Yes. 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 Medical would be your type. Uh, or somatostatin analog, basically. Yes. Yes. Antihistamines. Um, antihistamines. Or surgically, the uh, surgical excision, uh, or a curative, basically, a non conservative measure management would be surgically or um, chemotherapy. What is the role of uh, chemo radiotherapy in case of uh, carcinoid syndrome? And it, it, so what I've read is that it is, uh, it is, it is, um, it, it will respond to doxorubicin and 5 fluorouracil. Yes. yes. Exactly sure of response or the. What, okay. Uh, what are the lifestyle modifications that you can advise to a patient suffering from carcinoid syndrome to follow? I would advise um, uh, lowering any uh, sort of smoking, uh, alcohol, yes. uh, coffee, and caffeine, and these are things that will uh, exacerbate um, uh, the, the effect of these vasoactive and, and uh, serotonin and, and yeah, the tone on the on the system basically. So, yeah. Yes. The, and stress as well. and, uh, yes. Uh, what is the uh, survival rate? How uh, neuroendocrine tumors are followed? No, um, well, there is typical and atypical carcinoid. Yes. The typical carcinoid will usually uh, have a better prognosis. It will have a lower. Um, lower rate of metastasis um, yes. and and it will have uh, a better prognosis basically. Uh, atypical will be uh, the, the opposite. It will have a, a worse prognosis and more likely to metastasize. Okay. What do you understand by the, uh, by the term? Uh, okay, these neuroendocrine tumors, where do you find them most in the whole GI tract? Where are the most common or common so most tumor? Common, yes. In, uh, in the ilium small bowel, uh, in the ilium or the appendix, um, okay. they can also be in uh, extra, uh, either intra, intra intestinal or extra intestinal. Can be yes. intra intestinal in the most commonly in the small bowel or appendix. Extra intestinal could be in the uh, lungs, liver. Uh, sorry, good. lungs, the, the um, testes and ovary. And the yes. most common metastasis is the liver. Okay. Yes. What is the most common symptom uh, or when they are presented in lung stress pose? So how the patient presents? What are the measures that you, are, uh, that you do to diagnose it? They can have, if it's, if it's central or if it's peripheral. If it's central, i.e. Yes. if it's very close to the main bronchi, they will present with more prominent symptoms of shortness of breath, uh, they can have uh, Hemoptysis, uh, yes. yeah, and if it's peripheral, it will be less evident. I mean, they'll have a, a an indolent course because it's a carcinoid. Yes. Uh, as tumor is very indolent until it metastasizes. Yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Today was your uh, first time ever you presented uh, with us, a patient, and it yes. was very good. Uh, it's really impressive. Yes. Very stressful though. <laughs> yes. Was it stressful? Yeah, I mean, you are a bit of a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Network yeah. is a problem, but it's you good. know. I could hardly hear you and then I'm not... Uh, my own network is not reliable as well. I'm sorry if I threatened you or uh, made you feel uncomfortable in any... Right, since it was, right. a, it was an intentional, yes. So they were telling you. you all, yes.
genes and ex yeah. everything they were they were yes feeding you very good guys p53 and kerans yeah yeah very good okay we have dr uh, umar qureshi today i saw him getting added yes can we have you dr umar can you give us feedback it was very good dr mohammed first time you presented and um, definitely small things that you couldn't you have to just focus on the definitions and then a difference between syndrome and uh, tumor or carcinoma like just know the different uh, uh, the definitions and then you'll be able to manage it if we can have sure. dr kureshi he can ask you some questions was there anything i could have asked him and i have forgotten or i've missed dr vishek maybe you can add um the cells of origin you, you have asked right yeah uh dr mohammed i forgot can you uh, explain uh, the image what do you see yeah so um so we can see and 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 yes the from first from a b yeah. c and d yes please so the first one a it's got um, very very evident fine stippling of yes. the uh, it's a fine stippling of the chromatin in the nucleus and yeah. we can see very nice um, eosinophilic cytoplasm very good and that is very suggestive of uh, of of carcinoid tumor uh, okay. but the, the typical carcinoid that has taken up the dye yes very good yeah. and then in b it, it's um, it's it's brown or yellowish which is uh, suggestive of lipofusion yes and that we would this see this is as not well. intestine maybe yes this is intestine and then c is uh, i think where the arrow is is like maybe pleomorphism or some sort of a, of a, um, a mitotic figure um yes or actually, is that is that d d is d is, is a, also more or less the same more of like mitotic figures if you yeah. have more than two mitotic figures two to 10 mitotic figures and it's in a high power field then it is suggestive of uh, atypical uh, carcinoma very good and yeah. um, aggressive causes yeah okay yes uh, i wanted uh, he will talk after 5 minutes he uh, passed his mrts in his first attempt and now he's here so i thought maybe you can get uh, fresh feedback from him how to prepare how to attempt patients and maybe he can give some uh, tips and tricks practical that you can uh, use in your exam so yes dr vishik you were saying something i asked him the origin and you told him yourself the genes which are involved first he couldn't recall neuroendocrine uh, tumors and then he realized okay men one uh, more if people can do then they can ask uh, what what these um, risk factors maybe ma'am sorry risk, risk factors factor. yes risk factors one can ask it's uh, inherited or genes when are involved so when you you no, actually when the pathogenesis is uh, most probably idiopathic for this idiopathic most uh, today yes yeah ma'am uh, most uh, yeah, mostly the hypothetical part is like the pathogenesis is uh, the dna damage and gene mutation that occurs yes. in associated with yes. men women p53 and also have some role of keras keras proton yes, uh, yes. risk factor actually uh, the women have more preponderance for development of this and older age yes that is the risk factor and family history of men one that men one yes yeah yes good so should we move on 